Assalamu alaikum friends. Hi there and welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing a recipe for crunchy palak pakoras. We love making these in Ramadan. They require simple ingredients. They're so crunchy, so delicious. So let's get started. If you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Now in this video, as you guys can see, I'm using some spinach. I'm also using some green cilantro and some onions. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my spinach and I'm gonna go ahead and chop it up. You guys don't have to be really precise or chop this up real small. You guys can leave it like into, you know, good sized chunky pieces as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and just chop this up. These are very, very easy to make in Ramadan and they taste so good guys, especially like with ketchup, chutney or any other dips and stuff. So definitely consider saving this recipe and um, making these for ramadan so i'm going to get my cilantro that i've washed already and i'm going to go ahead and chop that up as well then after this i'm going to go ahead and get my onion and i'm going to go ahead and use half of this and i'm going to go ahead and slice it into thin slices like this now the reason why i cut it thin like this is because i like that crunchy nice taste that you get from the onions you guys can chop it up as well if you guys do not like the onions big like that in your pakoras so after i've sliced half of it i decided that i just want to add a little bit more from the other half of the onion so i'm just going to slice a little bit more in here like this and i'm going to go ahead and add this all to a bowl now you guys could add green chili peppers if you guys want to as well Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some spices. I'm gonna start off by adding one teaspoon of red chili pepper, one tablespoon of crushed coriander, a little bit of salt you guys can use according to your diet. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my flowers. I'm using two different types of flowers for this. I'm using corn flour, which is makai kiata, and I am using um, besan flour for this. So I went ahead and added this in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of crushed tomato puree. I don't usually add tomatoes in this, but just for that nice taste, I'm gonna go ahead and add just like one fourth of a cup like that I'm gonna go ahead and add that in now I'm gonna add about two to three tablespoons of water and I'm gonna just go ahead and mix all this up together I would say preferably about three tablespoons of water we'll go ahead and mix this up really nice now I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my oil and once you know that your oil is nice and hot not too hot or not too cold then get your mixture here's mine's it's already like i said three or even four tablespoons of water mix it all up and just drop the pakoras in one by one So once you guys see that the pakoras have started to change color, at that time you guys should turn them around and start like just, you know, making sure they don't get um, over brown or don't um, burn or anything like that. So at this time now, I think that my, my pakoras are perfectly done just how I like them. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and place them onto like a paper towel. You want to go ahead and just shake it up a little and get that oil off. And that's it, guys. That's how easy it was. See how beautiful the mixture is and how nice our pakoras have, you know, gotten done. And that's it. Now I'll go ahead and add in the second batch and then it'll be ready to serve. So my friends, our pakoras are all done. They're so yummy, so delicious, perfect for iftar time. Very simple, very easy. You don't have to put in all that elbow grease or all that effort to make these. Just requires simple ingredients, but the mixture of the flour is what gives it that very, very crunchy flavor and effect. The corn flour and the besan flour together. Now I know everyone has their own ways of making these but this is my method and it's very easy and inshallah I hope that you guys can all benefit from this and enjoy these enjoy these pakoras and enjoy this recipe. If you guys enjoy it please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for me letting me know what you guys think and share my videos with your friends and family and of course don't forget to subscribe friends so until my next video coming up right after this more quick and easy ramadan recipes i'll see you guys later take care alafiz